Good morning, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's car boot haul video. So there was no car boot haul video last week because I was away on holiday and so I missed a week of the car boot. Mom, get your head out of the bag, that's a good girl. Missed a week of the car boot, but I've got a nice big pile of crap this week. So I've been to two car boot sales this morning. Trench Lane was very, very small. Trench Lane is coming to the end of its run for the year and I think people have pretty much given up. So Trench Lane was very small, but I did get a few bits. So we'll do Trench Lane first because that's the stuff that's near the top. I bought this Magimix, uh, I think it's called Le Glacier, Le Glacier. 1.1 litre ice cream maker. Um, in barely used condition. I think ice cream makers are one of those things that people think they'll use all the time and then don't. So that was three pounds. It's quite funny. The, um, the people I bought it from haggled each other down on it. So I said, how much is that? He said five. She went three. And I said, shall I just stand here until you guys get down to one? <laughs> I paid three. Paid three. So three pound for an uh, ice cream maker. 20 to 25 maybe. Maybe. 50p for a stacking Russian doll, which is cats. I think there are three. There might be four. Oh, hang on, hang on. One, two, three. Are you the middle? Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. Still going. Four. Teeny tiny one. It's, it's a five layer. I can try to turn it around so you can see. There's the smallest one. It's not going to focus, is it? It's focusing on my wrinkly hands instead. There we go. That's the smallest one. So it's a five layer and it's cats. And the two biggest ones have ears. Two biggest ones have ear shapes. 50p for that. To add to my massive pile of unlisted Russian dolls. I did I actually listed about five last week, but I've got a huge, huge number more to do because you may remember a few weeks ago I bought somebody's entire collection. Uh, one pound for a Remington chopstick curler with the destruction sellotape to it. Sorry, destructions is a family thing. We always say destructions in this house. £1.50 for a big pile of brownies uniform. So there is t-shirt, trousers, a little drawstring brownies bag, one of the long sleeved tops, um, and jacket. All of that for £1.50. That was quite good, wasn't it? I need to take the badges off the jacket. This is from the... 178th Bristol Shire Hampton Brownie Pack. 178 brownie packs in Bristol, fancy that. At least 178 brownie packs. And I think I think that's an elf. I think I think I think it's the it would be the elf six. You know, it was sixes in brownies, wasn't it? Yeah, you were you were put into six. I never became a sixer. I got as far as being a seconder and then removed. And um, then there was a period of time when I didn't go to brownies at all because we moved house and then went up and I went to guides. So I never did get to be a sixer. I remember being very upset that I would have been the next sixer. When that si when our sixer went, I would have been the next one. I never got to be it. My poor little heart. I got over it. Okay, I think that's everything. Oh no, and this well, shaped, head shaped mug. That's everything from Trench. That was a pound. And then everything else is Easter Compton. So there was a lady selling her baking stuff for 50 pence each and I got... The Wilton dishwasher tip tray, so if you put your icing tips in the, in the dishwasher, and the icing colour organiser. They look possibly unused, quite possibly unused. They were 50 pence each. Candy Melts dipping spoon, dipping scoop, that was 50p. And this is Lakeland, and it's a Lakeland mini donut tray. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 whole mini donut tray. There, I was, there's one of these listed for 17 99 and I paid 50p for that. And from another buyer, another seller, not a buyer, I, I was the buyer, another seller, I paid a pound for a Wilton Easter egg tray, Easter egg mould tray. So a little bit of a day for baking bits. Do you remember the hoobs? This is Groove. Anthony and I, we knew he was a hoob. I said, that's one of the hoobs. And Anthony said, yeah, I can't remember who. And then when I looked it up and I said groove, Anthony immediately went, yes, groove. Oh, he's got horns. It didn't, groove had horns, apparently. He's got a couple of horns and a groovy hairstyle. And he, if he talks, he should go for £20. He's got a talky box in him, but whether he'll work or not, I do not know. Bella wants him. Bella's not having him. You're not having groove. You're not having him. You're a terrible dog. Terrible, terrible dog. I paid... 
Steve six pounds for a bag of really nice, nice quality cookie cutters. They're the ones that have got the plastic top so you don't cut into your hand. I don't know what brand they are. There's no brand on there, but there's one, two Mickey Mouse ears, a star. I think that's a rabbit. Dinosaur. And three varying sizes of Christmas tree. So it is definitely going to be cookie season, isn't it? Cookie cutter season is upon us. So those, it's, remember six pound altogether. So it was those and the two Roy Kirkham mugs which I thought were a pair and then looking at them now they're not. So one is a good oh, one. Maybe they are. Yeah, no, they are a pair. They are indeed a pair. I just, they're different on the, on the opposite sides. They are a pair. So those tiny jelly cat reindeer. Don't know if he's worth anything. Is he jelly cat or jelly kitten? Jelly cat London reindeer. A Carabinier, 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 I don't know if it's Carabinier or Carabinier, but buggy clip basically. Now this is to upgrade the clip that I've got on the bag that goes up to the loft because ours is too small and annoying, so that's what that's for. And a rather nice piece of vintage Pyrex. Sadly, just the one. I was explaining to Anthony that if you had these, these come in a stacking set, and if you had the fellows that go in the stacking set, that would have been a very nice lump of money. Let me just do a image search on this. Grey vine leaf design, eighteen pound. Now whether that's the same size or not, I don't know. They've put mixing bowl, and this is not big enough to be a mixing bowl. So, but even so, like I said, it would have been lovely if all of his brothers had been there. So I'd have the matching set. Let's get another bag. I paid. A pound for a karma wrap. These go on your dog if your dog is scared of thunder or fireworks or whatever. It is a comforting wrap that you wrap around and um, like a, a bit like a thunder shirt, similar to that. So it's called a karma wrap and they sell for quite a lot of money. They, you know, when you buy them new, they're quite a lot of money. So that was a pound. And 50p for the two of these, 50p for the pair. Uh, this is the Fast 800 diet book and recipe book. I think 50p, I think he was 50p, may have been a pound, may have been a pound, I think it was a pound. This is a vintage St Michael Marks and Spencers plush donkey, I think that is, I think you're a donkey, maybe you're a horse but I think you're a donkey. And my memory is playing up, my memory is playing up and I can't remember whether it was three pounds or five pounds, I think it was five pounds altogether for this M&S ragdoll, this basil brush, this Jamie Oliver mug, this Disney Finding Nemo Just Keeps Swimming mug and a set of the Jamie Oliver egg cups. I think it was five pound the lot. Fairly confident it was five pound. It might have been three, but I'm fairly confident it was five. It was a pound each for two of the very nice large Kidston Crush mugs and a Starbucks candy cane mug. It's been quite a mug day again. I'm on seven mugs so far today, I think. Yeah, eight mugs maybe. And from the same person as the Kath Kidston mugs, I bought this really, really nice animal fleece furry faux sheepskin whatever it is lined hoodie that's lovely blue and white spots it's a size 14 really pleased with that and two pairs of shoes and it was 10 pounds for those three items so there's a pair of clark's cloud steppers in really good condition barely worn condition and a pair of sketches with the funny bobbly soles, they need new laces. I need to get some new laces, and the laces for those would have been grey, I think. So I need to buy some grey laces. But yeah, so ten pounds for two pairs of shoes and the jacket, and that was quite funny because I said the the chap was there selling, and I said to him, "Would you take ten pounds for these three items?" Because he had said that they wanted five on the jacket, seven on the cloud steppers, and two on the others. So seven, two, and five, fourteen. 
And so I said to him, would you take 10? And he went, oh, no, I couldn't do that. Oh, no, she'd be proper cross if I did that. I couldn't do that. And I was like, OK, no problem. And I was still there looking at the mugs from the same chap when his wife came back and he said to her, oh, that lady offered 10 for those three items. And I told her you'd say no. And she went, that's, that's fine. 10's fine. 10's fine. And then she said, to him, well, we're not taking it home. <laughs> so 10 quid. I need my fringe cut again. Obviously, always. Five, no, sorry, two pounds. Two pounds for a pair of Moshulu shoes. The light's not great, is it? No, they are unworn. They've got half a box. The top half of their box is there, but not the bottom. They're called Arctic Roll. It's funny because I've had many Arctic Rolls in my life, which is a, if you're, in, if you're not in the UK, you may not have Arctic Roll where you are, but it's a sponge roll with an ice cream layer. Um, and it looks nothing like those shoes. Nothing like, like, like them whatsoever. But £2 for those. And £5 for calf kiss and cutlery. I have looked this up once already this morning and immediately forgotten what it was. Somebody has sold a 16 piece set of this same design for £25. It's called Ashdown Rose. And I'm not sure how many pieces are meant to be in there, but I think I may have more than there's meant to be because somebody's got a picture of one listed and that's 16 pieces, that's four of each, where I've got... One, two, three, four, five. I've got eight of the dessert spoons. I've got six forks. I've got one, two, three, four. I've got eight knives. Eight knives, six forks, eight dessert spoons, and four teaspoons. So I think if I make up a set of 16 and then sell the extra the spares, I think I'm going to do that. That was a fiver. I'm going to do very well out of that. Ashdown Rose, it's called. 50p for this two at Sainsbury's top. It's lovely. It's brand new with its tags. It would have been £18 originally. It's a size 8. And it's got a picture of a girl walking her dog on the beach. I don't know if you guys can make that out. Really lovely design of, of girls walking dogs on the beach. In fact, there's two girls. One in pink trousers with a golden retriever. And one in blue shorts with a Dalmatian. So yeah, dog walking on the beach. Really nice shirt, size eight. Wish it could have been bigger. A Santoro, it doesn't say gorgeous, but it's, I think it's the gorgeous girl, the G-A-W-J-U-S, Santoro, Santaro. Um, Organise it, it's got a little, a little nick on the back here. It's got a little scuff on the corner, it was a pound, but it's got lots of unused pages inside. And I know people collect this stuff, this design, so. That was a pound. You alright Molly? You okay? The house clearance guy who I bought all that jewellery off the other week gave me these three phones. He had a whole table of stuff and he said I don't want any money for any of it, it's all three. So three boxed phones. I bought two off him last week. In fact the, the week before he was given away and I ended up, he was selling stuff for 10p. So I picked up two, gave him a pound and told him to keep the change. So that was two of those. And then this week he literally wasn't taking any money at all. And so I've got also got two walk and talk petite, wake and talk petite telephone radio alarm clocks. I mean, I don't know who's still using these, but some people must be, surely. They were free. Oh, now they're all on the floor. And lastly, two items of clothing. These were £3 for the two. I've got an Evans long line jersey, tunicky toppy dressy thing. And... Joe Browns, and I think they're both size 14, if I remember rightly. A Joe Browns swirly tunicky toppy thing. And that's it. That is the haul and all of the haul. If you have seen anything in this video that you like, feel free to drop me a line. My email address is in the description box below. Sorry about the lighting in this video. I really do need to get some different lighting because the light coming from the side is not, not doing it, not working. Or you could just part with me sitting on my nice sofa in comfort where the lighting is fine and I'm comfortable but when I sat there people complained that they couldn't see what I was showing them thank you for joining me as I said if you if you see anything that floats your boat drop me a line and I'll be back next week with another haul video take care bye for now